Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm doing this video in the car right now and it's getting dark, but my camera broke right when I wanted to do a video at home and it's just it's so much warfare that I thought I'm just gonna tell you on a, a dark sky screen here because I cannot wait to tell you this. There's too much warfare, so that's why because it's so important okay so and I and I okay I saw a video today and it blew my mind absolutely blew my mind about what's going on in the heavens um, so credit goes to Steve Fletcher this is where I saw this this is what uh, I guess his friend Daniel Taylor I think found this and um, all praise to the Lamb of God um, you guys got to hear this and please don't write in about uh, whatever he believes or doesn't believe I don't agree with everything he believes and says and I, I don't want this to turn into that so often when I share anything people get mad at me for so many reasons okay the information like if I was giving the information from a newscast would you just listen to the news or try to go into everything he believes okay I gotta preface that because I don't want to deal with that in the comments because this is what God wants people to see right now period so it has to do with the lunar eclipse tetrads and the solar eclipses and we know that God's Word talks about this is how he communicates moeds divine appointments and time Genesis 114 the Sun moon and the stars the heavens are his handiwork um, so this is what it is if you I'm gonna try to explain it real simple okay because I don't have a chart to show you but if you draw a line vertical line and it's it's January 11th 2024 and you line up all the lunar eclipse tetrads on the left and the right you can there's there's a symmetry but of each one on the left and right to where there is the exact number of days between the solar eclipse, say, for example, the solar eclipse in, or the lunar eclipse in 2015, the same amount of days to get to January 11th as there are days from January 11th to the solar, the lunar eclipse in, um, 2030 or I don't know which one matches it okay but that's not the point they all have they all mirror each other every single one of them has the exact same days counting to January 11th or from January 11th to the lunar eclipse and it gets even better the same thing happened with the solar eclipses and the same date January 11th And then if you go back even further than 2015, um, Steve found even more going way back another 50 years or some. I can't remember the number, but this is this is astronomical, okay? That's a pun. But I mean this is this is this is so amazing that I can't I, I'm just so blown away. I, I, I can't even believe it. So, it's not recording right. Okay. Um, so, I don't know what's going to happen on January 11th, but I know that it looks like it's the center of the universe with God's calendar with the, with the moon and the sun. And so obviously it's the biggest rapture day, watch day I've ever seen in my life. And I think many of you would agree with me. It's almost like you feel like you could just say, well, obviously it's going to happen. But of course, 
we can't really say obviously we know for sure it's gonna happen that day but I'll tell you one thing uh, <laughs> I'm speechless and this is a by the way of January 11th is 111 which is also like the number that I've been, that's followed me that and 1111 for years I live in apartment 111 right now and this number has followed me everywhere for many many for decades and and there's even more oh my gosh there's even more day counts off the top of my head am I gonna remember it um, there was a day count okay listen I'm gonna I think I can remember it the day count from the revelation 12 sign I think that was the 2300 which is right out of the book of Daniel and then the 1335 count out of the book of Daniel that you know blessed is he who makes it until that day from January 11th back 1335 days I think that's when it landed on um, 2020 the first COVID death okay I, I think that's what he said um, I will leave the video for you later right now since I'm driving I cannot do that type of stuff on the phone um, so you know then on top of that you know Israel takes out the a uh, very high commander in um, Hezbollah, one of the top commanders in Hezbollah, and that's just a few days after they've been seeing 12-foot Nephilim walking around the malls in Florida. So, uh, for real, if you haven't heard about that one, that really happened. Um, so, praise the Lord, you know, the Lord made the heavens. He designed this. The heavens are his handiwork. Can you even imagine everything? Everything centers, all the numbers center on January 11th. Something's going to happen January 11th, okay? Something's got to happen January 11th. We know the rapture is going to happen any day now, any minute now. You know, we're in the, we're in the, I would call it closer. I wouldn't say we're in the season. I'd say we're in the uh, very, very limited, uh, very limited, uh, very narrow, narrow days. I mean, we are so close. <clears throat> we're closer than a big season. Let's put it that way. It's any minute now. It's any day now. Get saved if you're not. Believe the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. The simple gospel is that Jesus Christ died on the cross. And they buried him for three days. And then he rose from death. And he shed his blood for your sins to conquer hell, death, and the grave. To give us eternal life so that we could be made righteous by his blood. So we could access the throne our Heavenly Father in heaven because you know nothing unholy can can enter in and because it's hopeless for man to to be so good that they that we could be holy on our own merit our own behavior uh, it, it God had to send his son to shed his blood for that made atonement for your sins okay you're justified by faith in him and what he did on the cross whether you want to believe it or not that's that's a fact you cannot boast you cannot boast so just instead of boasting just thank God that he made a way he did it for you because nobody can be perfect the sinless Lamb of God came to the earth and walked the earth and he is the word Yeshua HaMashiach. With that, I'm going to let you go. Love you guys. And uh, take care. Keep watching.
we, we could be in our last couple days here, to be honest with you. Okay, God bless.